I've been doing a little bit of uh, switching over from these compact fluorescents, the CFLs. Uh, this is a 12 watt, uh, they call it a tornado. And to the LED bulbs, and this is a 7 watt LED bulb. This one is supposed to put out uh, 685 lumens for the 12 watts, and this one's supposed to put out 600 lumens. Uh, we'll do an experiment on that and uh, show you that in a minute. Um, the, the 11 watt is supposed to put out exactly 600 too. Um, yes, 600 there. And the 7 watt says it puts out 600 lumens. And that's the LED bulb. But we shall see again and we'll run an experiment. Uh, I found these interesting because the compact fluorescent, I mean, it's putting out a lot more, a lot more uh, heat, uh, that extra wattage between the 12 and the 7. That all comes away as heat, and you have to pay for that again in your air conditioning bill to pump that extra heat outside. So you're getting an uh, electrical savings because of the bulb, and you're also getting an electrical savings because of the heat that your air conditioner is not having to pump outside. So... Um, I like that, and also I like the fact that uh, the LED, LED bulb does not get as hot, and I've had some issues with fixtures in the house. Uh, the fixtures are limited to 36 watts, and 36 watts of, of this power is, uh, of this amount of light and this power is limited. I mean, you can only get so much out of it. I can show you these fixtures in here. These are maxed out at 36 watts. They will not take any more power. They are rated at 36 watts. But uh, 36 watts of LED will be much, much brighter than uh, 36 watts of compact fluorescent. It'll produce the same amount of heat, but again, it'll uh, be much brighter. So that's one benefit, is you can get more light into a fixture uh, with the same amount of uh, wattage rating. So, uh, theoretically, this bulb is supposed to put out a lot more light. It's 685 uh, versus 600 for this bulb, but let's go run an experiment. Let's go see which one really does. I've got uh, one compact fluorescent in one can light and one LED in the other. And I don't know if you can see which one. To me, my eye, that seems like the brighter one. And that seems like the dimmer one, of course. So let's go look and see which is which. The dimmer one is the compact fluorescent 12 watt which should be 85 lumens brighter than the 7 watt LED. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, my eye tells me that the LED is brighter. And we're replacing them over here on the ceiling fan. We had 8 watt compact fluorescence. We're going to 5 watt uh, LED. The uh, I don't know if you can see which one is the LED. To my eye, this one looks the dimmest, but it's a compact fluorescent. This one back here is the LED, and I'm changing them out in the back so that uh, you can't really see it, so I don't have like an odd mixture of bulbs, but as I get more of the LEDs, I'll move them back to the front for just for uh, aesthetics. The one bad thing about the LED, as you see, it doesn't transmit as much light backwards. so. Um, that, is a, that is an issue. I mean, if you have uh, the uh, fixtures where you need light coming back, and this one is not so bad, but in some of you, may, that may be an issue. My guess is that's why the can lighting, the LED bulb looks brighter because it's got a reflector in the back and it's pushing the light down out of the can much better than the compact fluorescent where a lot of the light is going back upward. What else is interesting? Let's see. Um, the LED bulb is supposed to last 15,000 hours and the uh, compact fluorescent is much less. I don't remember what it is, but it's much less, maybe about three to five times less. So yes, the cost of this is a dollar higher, uh, but the lifespan is many times longer and the heat, heat dissipation will be less of an issue. You can put uh, a uh, more, little bit, you can put the maximum amount of wattage into a fixture with the uh, LED and get a lot more light out of the fixture, which is what I'm planning on doing in here. And what else? Well, I think that's about it. Uh, it's uh, been an interesting experience, uh, experiment, and uh, I plan on continuing it. We'll see what happens to the electric bill as I 
start to uh, put more of these out. We got 63 light bulbs in the house and when I get about half of them replaced I'm hoping to see a drop in the in the electric bill that's significant. Anyway, hope you found it useful and interesting.